Right, this is something that someone brought to my attention, and it promotes the mark of the beast, and we're going to show that this is the mark of the beast through the scriptures. Because again, there's so many people out there saying that, oh, the mark of the beast is Sunday law, and then you got people out there saying the mark of the beast is money, then there's people out there saying that the mark of the beast is... um. Mark of the Beast is Sunday Law. The Mark of the Beast is the Bible. These people literally get proven wrong in seconds. What we see straight away from this is like, I just want the money, you got the chip. Now straight away it gives it away. Straight away right there it gives it away. That why would, why would they say these two things together? It's hinting this is what our Hollywood does it. They put truth in plain sight, but they do it for agendas and that. There's truth, some truth in movies and some lies. They mix truth with lies. That's what the devil does and the devil has done since the beginning of time. That's just a fact, since we all, we all know. So he says, I just want the money. So he asks for money, and then he goes, you got the chip. So this is part of prophecy and part of the Bible. Nobody will be able to buy or sell, say, he that have the mark of the beast. So it, what I'm about to read proves again. I mean, it, we proved it, proved it wrong over and over again anyway. So these, these people just don't know anything. Anyone that promotes that the mark of the beast is Sunday law or a tattoo or... Even somebody said that the mark of the beast is the way somebody acts. That's completely stupid. It it really is. And has not no sense. It makes no sense. People even say that the mark of the beast is a handshake, yet everybody's made a everybody's done a handshake. So therefore every single person, even the Messiah, made a handshake without the mark of the beast. It, it makes no it makes no sense. So again, as it says in the scriptures, and he causeth all, both small and great, and rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. There you go. So, their mark, their right hand or their forehead. So again, you can't put Sunday law inside the forehead. You cannot put something, Sunday law is a law. It, again, this is the point that I've made f so many times now. Sunday is only one day. For the rest of the week, you can buy and sell, so it really doesn't affect you. Nobody buys and sells on a Sunday anyway, to begin with. Most people are at home, so th there's no logical sense in that doctrine. It's stupid. Seven day Adventists don't know what they're talking about and the false teachers. Ellen G. White was a false prophet. Let's be real here. She was a false prophet and was a wolf in sheep's clothing. No, that's just as simple as that. And I don't care if anyone gets offended by it because it's the truth. Ellen G. White is a false prophet. End of. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, shall receive the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. So again, and we of course we got people out there that are just pure false teachers that wanna say that all oh, if you take the mark of the beast uh, and it's not at the right time period, you can just repent. And then we have people, false teachers out there as well saying, oh, yeah, if you take the mark of the beast and you, you can repent of it, you just seriously, seriously, seriously repent of it and you'll be forgiven. Found nowhere in the entire Bible at all. Taking the mark of the beast is an unforgivable sin. Same as blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It's an unforgivable sin. You take the mark of the beast, 
you have no salvation, you are cut off from God forever. Simple as that. You you will receive the wrath of God, which proves those that receive the wrath of God ain't saved. Simple as that. We know that. So anyone out anyone out there saying, "Oh, you can take the mark of the beast and repent of it," is a false teacher and a wolf in sheep's clothing. Simple as that. So we just proving right there that this is the mark of the beast. And then we go to we go to the next image, and, it, and then he says, "Over the news, are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip." And as soon as he asks him, um, "Have you got the chip?" He moves his neck to the side. So what does it say in the Bible? In their forehead, the neck is connected to the forehead. And again, you see, it's wide. That chip's wide up to his. Well, we see right here. This is like a line, and it's wide up most likely into his brain the forehead so again and there's already these chips anyway in the military there's military soldiers that have got chips in their forehead proving again the mark what the mark of the beast is it's the RFB microchip it isn't no tattoo it's not the bible it's just facts. And then there, he's got it again. Basically, all of them have almost got it. Which, again, it's the mark of the beast. And then again. And you see as well, um, it's the, the part machine. In, in this video game, it's part of the agenda of the transhumanism. Uh, we all know how... The start of that agenda was through sex robots. And that was actually predicted in an old, old movie. The movie's called AI, Artificial Intelligence. So sex robots were pr pr predicted way before they were even here. So what does that say? It just says that it was predicted programming so sex robots is part of the technology part of the transhumanism Be become one become your own god which is exactly what was said in the garden of eden and there you go there's the chip and it was inside his body so again proving these people wrong again that want to continue to say that the mark of the beast is Sunday law. You can't put Sunday law in the hand. You can't put the Bible inside the the hand or the forehead. If you even look at the original Paleo Hebrew and Greek meaning of the word mark, it means stigma and a physical mark in the hand. You make a cut in your hand. What does it create? When it heals, it creates a mark, doesn't it? There you go. And this, this, and then he goes to this guy. This, he says to the other guys, like, take, just take the chip. And then this guy's like, every corporate cop is gonna be breaking, blasting down doors. Now, this is just predictive programming and admitting their agendas in plain sight. Martial law. It's martial law. What does cops symbolize? Authority. Uh, again, military is authority, power. So again, this is exactly what's going to happen when the mark of the beast comes. There's going to be people breaking your door down. That's just the fact. Breaking your door down. And... Basically, enforce making you take the mark of the beast. Uh, now people can take the mark of the beast willingly, and anyone that's took it, like I said, there's no salvation for you. It's, it's as simple as that. It's over. There's no point of repenting. That there's no point. You take that chip. No salvation for you. Judge. It's only judgment for you. It's as simple as that. Any false teacher that wants to say you can take the mark of the beast and and you can be saved. Uh, after it is a liar.
Nowhere is that found in the entire Bible at all. It's an unforgivable sin. Simple as that. And again, what, like I said, what this means is unforb basically the, when the martial law happens, which martial law actually happened in the past. It was either Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. It was one, one of them. Martial law happened. It happened. They did it. Go look up martial law in in America. And it it will admit that it happened before. The the president the the old presidents actually enforced martial law at one time. So the people out there that want to scarf and troll and say, say, and say whatever, martial law happened. So it's not no conspiracy, it's facts. It's facts and reality. Martial law happened in the past and it will happen again. Facts. It's just as simple as that. It will happen again. And that's just the reality. So this is talking about martial law, when they break people's doors down, do whatever. And then this is how it ends. Of course we have the all-seeing eye, because again, the one-eye symbolism, because the Illuminati like to admit and put their mark everywhere. And again, you notice everything's destroyed. Again, prophecy. What does it say in the Bible? What does it say with the New World Order? Out of chaos arises a new world order. Again, chaos would be, if a nation fell or something like that, it would be order out of chaos. So again, there we go. Proving the mark of the, this is promoting the mark of the beast. I honestly found this pretty interesting, to be honest. I really did. First of all, again, the trailer... So even these people know what it was, but th this is the funny thing again. It, this is the funny thing, even when people see the signs, they still don't wake up and realize the reality that's going on. So even for, take the riskiest job of your life and go after a prototype implant, again admitting that it's a chip, that is the key to immortality. When V is washing his hands, he gets a flashback in which Jackie gives him a chip. Again, the mark of the beast. It's supposedly from Corpse. I don't know. If it has the logo, Militech, on it, or it is from another corp. That chip is inside V. There you go. It's inside him. V, as he showed Dexter when he first entered the room. Then they fight where V and Dexter get to, to a standoff. We then see that V is on a very large, so we see it, and then it says right at the end, safe to assume that chip is the immortality chip. So again, they know that this is the mark, they know that's the mark of the beast, but again, Obviously, people are dumb down, don't even see this. This is the mark of the beast, hinting at it. That's exactly what it is. It's the mark of the beast. Simple as that, and it's facts. So again, proving right here that it was promoting the mark of the beast. 